Hey friends, it is Friday and we're popping into Goodwill to do a little thrifting to see what's new. Purple tags half off, so we gotta watch for those. I did see these beautiful flower mugs. You know I love anything floral and I thought these were pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what the price was that they wanted for these. I couldn't find the, the price tag. I checked a bunch of things. I'm guessing on one of these pieces, there is the mystery tag and they probably are all selling them by the set. I moved on because these gorgeous things caught my attention. These birds, I love these. That one was $4.99, the big guy. So I knew that that would mean selling him for 10. The other guy, the little smaller one was $2.99. Um, you know, I don't, if there's a set you feel like compelled, like you need to take them both. Yes. But as I move along with thrifting, I'm a little more just selective and I'm okay with taking this guy here. He's going to have a great home. That was a hand blown bohemian, um, flower vase. So for $4.99, that's an easy flip. So I had to take that one. I have no idea how it survived this long at Goodwill because it is so like fragile and glass. All right, let's talk about the kitty cat, all right? I can't believe this. Matt called this kitty cat hideous. Come on, come on. I'm debating here. Are you hideous? I don't think you're hideous. Look, see, he's back there. Matt's actually back there right now, and he doesn't even realize I've put this into the cart till the very end. Ha, ha, ha. Joke's on him. Um, but, yeah, I thought it was cute, and it had, like, this pattern over him. I think the cat's going to find a home. Tell me what you think below, but, yeah, I'll let you know when that cat finds a home. I will make sure that you and Matt knows, Matt especially. I thought that little turtle was cute. I picked up this piece here. I love anything that's like vintage <clears throat> excuse me, that has the applied flowers onto it. I just, I'm a sucker for those. Look at that cat looking all cozy with a smile on his face. Like, mm, yep, I got a home. I love this piece. I wish, 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 wish that it did not have that chip right there. It'd be sad. If I was buying this for myself, I would just fill that in with a little bit of paint. But I'm flipping for resale here, so I thought, you know what, I'll leave it for somebody else. And I know it'll find a home. Not for me today, but will be for somebody else tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Can we talk about the rabbits in the raincoats? Rabbits in the raincoats with books. And then this, this one over here has like a messenger bag hanging off the side. <gasps> and umbrellas. I loved these critters. Love them. Love them. I think they were, what, $2.99 a piece. Put those in my cart. They will definitely find a home. Oh my goodness, how sweet is that? I peeled back the tag a little bit. I was taking them anyhow, regardless of what brand they were. I truly have no idea uh, what brand they are, but hey, they're for me. Got them. Owl. I am also a sucker for an owl. You guys know that, right? So, sorry, I'm looking behind. I'm like, what is that behind that? Melva the snorkel moose. I didn't even see it. Look at Melva back there. Okay, all right, focus on the owl because that's what grabbed my attention. But I have no idea what kind of an owl it was. It can't be a tea light. The way it sits, is it supposed to be on something? It has the hole literally at the top of its head. So I left it there, not sure if it was missing another piece. Do, does anybody know how it would have been used that's watching? Um, cute little dish there. This, I'm like, what are you? Oh, you are a lamp of some sort. I think you would light that wick. A little jug and basin, $20. What do you guys think of the price point on this one? Um, when I saw these ducks, I think they're ducks, right? Yeah, ducks. I was thinking, what? Roughly what year was that? Was it 80s at the ducks? Everybody had ducks on stuff on their borders and on their canisters. I can't remember, but it is interesting to be able to look at designs and, you know, you can pretty much learn how old they are just based on how popular that design was at some particular time. This is another little lamp, $4.99. I'm guessing you put your tea light into it. I don't know if that actually belongs in there or not. This piece, I love this piece. I was like, yes, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. $4.99, I'm still getting it, I love it. 
And then when I really look close at it, do you see how there were some pretty significant pieces? Now, again, if I was keeping that for myself, I'd take a little bit of green paint. Nobody would really know off that little edge, but I am here hunting for stuff for resale. I have never seen a set, I'm guessing, salt and pepper shakers. I think they say made in Japan on the bottom with those tops. I also have no idea why one says V and one says O. Oh, vinegar and oil? This might just be occurring to me now. All right, this is the spinny wheel of organization. I think it's supposed to have maybe a little doodad on the top, maybe a little embellishment there, a little handle. handle. These here were cute. Look at this, shell art, and their heads move. How cute. $2.99, I debated getting this little guy here. I looked over, Matt's picking up ahead of me here, looking at a stein, and I'm like, should I get this? I think it's what, $2.99, it says made in Thailand on the bottom. And I wasn't sure, so I put it down and I went on, and I ended up, honestly, just kinda, I forgot about it. I left it there, went on, and picked other things. This one was a shocker for me. I thought this was an old piece. And then look, Marshalls? I have been picking and thrifting for so long and seeing these ceramic roses like this, like really old ones. And um, I thought that was an old one, but no, it was a new one. Willow Tree. I have been seeing the trend on TikTok recently where for October this month, they're painting the angels right here in black, the bodies, the cloaks and turning them into witchy witches for the witchy spooky season. Have you seen that trend? People are thrifting them and doing that. This here was marked as a piece of Christmas decor, but I don't think it's Christmas. This is Christmas. I don't know, that feels more spring-like to me. Do you see Christmas on that? Am I missing some? Oh wait, now is that bells or is it flowers? I mean, no, I think it's flowers. Look at the dolphins. Oh, I like this. And then, so $4.99, not bad at all. But look, him and the other guy on the end is the zebra. Um, both had their necks broken, so we left them. This guy though, he was in good shape. I think that might be an Avon frog. I sell, every time I pick these up, they always sell the critter votives candle holders so he is definitely coming home what a happy pick we got going on here a whimsical pick i'm not gonna lie i love this guy too thelma did a great job on him i thought he was cool and then we have three baby bunnies here i think these were made in mexico just a little set of three bunnies 3.99 I like these, they look like birch trees. Two pieces, I think, for $5. Nice for a direct buy. This little guy here, I took him. It's fall. It's not gold, it's silver. But she's cute. I sell a lot of these little leaf dishes. They're flying off my shelves right now. You know, and it's nice to have things that are, are of all different price points. So something like this at $6 versus 16, you know, you can come in, get a little thing, get a dose of happiness and bring something home, a little trinket home with you. So I try to have a whole price range. Matt has gone around the corner and I am on a journey to find him. Oh. Oh, we've been reunited. I'm sharing with him right now. Look at that, isn't that cool? And then he's like, 4.99, what? Too much. So we left that one there. All right, now we're in the sort of metal wood section. I thought these were interesting. Look at that. Little chairs. There was a set of three for $10. And then Matt finds this contraption, which leave it to Matt to find this. It's that game where I guess it pulses with electricity and you play with your friends and <clears throat> excuse me, somebody ends up getting zapped depending on how, on how fast you are. I think that's how it goes. So, nope, I don't need that in my life. <laughs> That's okay, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. It's 
But I thought they were cute, those little chairs. Yeah, lightning reaction, electric shock reaction game. <laughs> no, no, I don't want it. It's too much work, okay? <laughs> I don't need it in my life. This, though, I liked. It is a lantern, and come on, it's fall, it's cozy season. Um, and so all the lanterns I've bought in the past have all sold. This one's $6.99. I'm willing to go ahead and flip this one because I know that it'll be perfect for this time of the year. That won't last long in my store. This little piece caught my attention. I love the bows. I'm like, I gotta check that out. Felt kind of like, you know, Hello Kitty-ish right there with the big bow. Love that. Great little layering piece. I did have some rust on it on the one side. And they were asking $6.99. Not gold again. Oh, that was a cool plate, too. But um, I just love that. I love the vintage flare, the rosettes. It had the, like I said, the rust, so I decided to leave it. Is that something that you would be drawn to if you were in the store and you saw it? What do you usually pick when you are out and about? Those are cool back there. Some little floral decorative pieces. Great for a gallery wall putting together or if you need some decor for some small walls stuff like that is great mr kitty you're looking so cute and fun there like you see that little smile on his face it's like yeah i'm going home i'm going home home is where the dog hair sticks to everything but the dog true that stanley was laying on my sweatshirt on the bed and this morning i had to get up and i had to do the uh the tape because I was wearing Stanley to work. Drink coffee and do good. Sounds about right. Another little organizer. A little uh, sconce there. I would definitely have to paint it a different color. I saw this mask since finding that valuable one of a kind mask. Of course, I will stop and look at all of them to see if they're mass produced or if I feel like it's something that's hand carved and uh, might be of value. This is also an example of finding stuff like this is this electronic section and a mask was into it. People move things to the wrong sections. They leave it on the shelves, you know, not where they found it. And it can be in a completely different section where they offload it again. So it does pay to hunt around and see what somebody picked up and might have left way, way far away from where they found it. So this vase here, I'm looking at it again as I'm preparing to make my way out. And I realize you see that there. The chip made me so sad on the under petal. I didn't see it until I held it that way. There was like two chips there. And then I'm like... And there were some cracks in the back. I'm like, how did I miss that? But it was just the way I was looking. And then I think there was one down here, yeah. So then I had to make the decision, take it or leave it. But because again, I'm selling, I decided to leave it. Um, but a few small fixes and she could be good as new. So I got some great things today. I'm gonna head down to the front um, and then I get to see if I have any rewards from all my shopping. And I am that person that applies any rewards I have. And today I had a couple dollars um, to take off my load here.